fam, welcome back to the vlogs. I am off to the Home Depot right now. I have to go pick up paint for the wall. Guys came by yesterday to deliver something and scratch up the wall. And there's a few other spots where we need just like a touch up. I was able to find out what color our walls are. That way I can get the exact match. So I'm gonna go and pick up like a small little can right now and touch up the walls. It's Saturday, by the way. And it's in the middle of the day. I was working all morning. Um, and then I'm gonna stop by CB2. I have to pick up an order. I got a lamp for the living room. And I've noticed this with like CB2 and Crate and Barrel where like I'll order something and it's not available to be shipped out to be delivered in like a few months. But you can go pick it up, like do a um, in-store pickup and it'll be available for pickup in like one or two weeks, for example. So that's what I ended up doing just because it's sooner and it's available now. So I'm gonna go pick up the order. Then I have to stop by the bank and then I'm headed home to get ready. We have plans a little bit later, but as you can tell, it's pouring outside, but it's Miami. It usually pours and it clears up right away, but it was literally like raining so hard. Now it seems like it's slowing down and clearing up. So that's really good. So we have plans a little bit later. I have one of my friends, my girlfriend's coming as well, so I'm excited for that. A little bit of change of scenery. I've just been working all week and doing stuff around the house and shooting our next campaign for the brand's launch. That's been pretty much my week is coordinating everything with the next launch, which I'm so excited for. I've been showing you so many sneak peeks of everything on my IG mostly, but I'll also on here too, but I've been a little bit more consistent with my post on Instagram right now. So I've been showing you a lot of sneak peeks with that and I'm really, really excited for all of the pieces. Like I'm, I've been wearing everything almost every day, like different pieces on different days, but it's gonna be really good. So I'm really excited about that and I've devoted like my whole life every single day to this brand, which I've done from day one because you guys kind of know my story and how I started and all that. I'm sorry if this is shaky, but I had to move it from here because it kept like falling down. So I like, I'm gonna try this positioning and see if it stays not shaking and moving around. But yeah, so that's Jay's plan. It looks like the sun's coming out, which is really nice. So I'm headed to Home Depot, CB2, the bank, going home, getting ready. Last night we went to bed late because we hung out with some friends and caught up and I went to bed at like 2.30 so I was really, really drained this morning and I kinda want another coffee right now again but we just gotta get the day started and do stuff. I woke up and was just like working on my desk for a few hours, um, editing more content. It's been taking me forever but I can't wait to show you guys the photos. It just, it's like, you see a photo and you're like, okay, we literally have this such a short attention span of like, you see something, you'll look at it for 30 seconds and you move on to something else. And we're absorbing so much content, but I guess you don't always remember and realize how many hours and days of work it actually goes to produce that one photo or video or whatever type of content you saw. And I try to remind myself that when I'm like, like seeing content out there in, in the world and how long it takes to produce something that like really stands out and gets your attention. I just know, like I've spent, it's always like days and weeks of editing and coordinating and planning and like, I'll edit something and I don't like it. So I'll go back and like edit. And when I say edit, I'm like changing a lot of like the colors for the, like for the campaign. I'll do a lot of like editing to make it look more film-like or like more grainy or like, like the, the like brightness or the shadows, like, I don't change like the colors colors of the photos because you don't want to play and mess around with the colors of the product and like confuse someone right but I'll mess around with just the vibe of the photos if that makes sense to create this energy and emotion that I wanted to convey um, and that takes time and sometimes I don't I never do it in one day I, I just can't I'll like go back and like revisit make sure um, the next day I feel the same about it and then sometimes I don't so I start from scratch and it's just like it's hard when you're like a perfectionist. It really is a lot. So anyways, that's been my week. A way for me to explain what's been going on this week and why I haven't been vlogging because it was nothing really that crazy, just work stuff. But hopefully today will be a little bit more relaxing and fun and different and social so I can take a little bit of a break from working all week. 
But yeah, I'm almost there and I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, at the Home Depot, I got doing so many things around the home now that we have like a house. I feel like that happens to everybody when they, when they live in a house, but um, I got this sanding block and then I got this paint and primer from Bear. This is apparently what they used in our place. It's a flat white interior paint color. I got tape because we always need tape and we're always running out of tape and then a little paintbrush. Oh, and then at the Home Depot, apparently you can get like key copies. It takes like 30 seconds to do. And I saw the little machine as I was walking out and I'm like, it's always good to have extra spares. So I made an extra key and that's it. I'm off to the bank now. And then I think I'm gonna go to CB2 just because the bank is closer.
obsessed with, except this is why I'm scared to wear it because it's see-through, but she looks hot in it, but I'm too uncomfortable to wear it. Unless I'm at like the beach. You look hot, you look so hot. I love it. Oh my God, we're stuck in the rain. the lamp that I picked up from CB2 yesterday. I'll try to link it down below, but it looks like this. And I still don't know exactly where it's gonna go. My initial idea was to have it here. However, I feel like the color is not, like I like it, so I don't think we're gonna return it. Lyle also really likes it, so I feel like we're gonna keep it. However, the color was supposed to be a dark brown marble on the website and it arrives and it kind of gives me very purplish brown vibes and like pink and that's not what it was supposed to be but we still like it enough to keep it i just don't think it works on this end table because 
The end table is kind of like the same size as this lamp. I'm going to get work done and then take prints on a little walk. It's Sunday afternoon and I just ran the laundry. The whites, the darks are getting cleaned and then I'm gonna put in the whites. Um, but I haven't had a chance to talk to you guys today yet. So last night was so much fun. Much needed social break from the craziness that's, that has been going on recently. Um, and yeah, I don't really do a lot of the social stuff. So it's really good to do it once in a while and have fun, especially with your partner. So it was a great night. And then we also kind of, what did we do Friday? Do we do something Friday? Sounds like, I feel like we did. But I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did something Friday. So I feel like this is going to end up being a, like a weekend vlog. I'm probably going to end it after today and edit it for you guys and get that uploaded in live. Um, and then next week, I'm probably going to do a week vlog. If there's any specific videos you want to see, let me know. I know I've had so many requests for, I think, a jewelry like haul collection review. I do want to do one. It's just hard because I don't always know where all my jewelry is from if that makes sense. So I don't know what, like it's gonna, there's some pieces that I have no idea where they're from. Like I've, there's no logos on them. I can't recall, I'll check my emails to see if there's like any, if it was gifting or if I purchased it and where, like if there's a confirmation email, anything like that. And there's certain pieces I cannot find. I'll even ask you guys like, hey, does anyone know what brand this is? Like does anyone recognize this? And no, like no one knows. So there's certain pieces that I'm like, isn't the whole point, maybe, It'll still be helpful because you can kind of like see my collection, but then at the same time, I wouldn't be able to link everything. So I don't know how helpful that would be. So that's kind of why I haven't rushed to do a jewelry haul. But if there's any other specific videos you want to see, please let me know. I'm going to do a little bit of work while I watch SWAT in the background. I'm going to work on my laptop. I have a lot to do. Went to a coffee shop and got some coffee with Lau and just hung out a little bit of us time. And this morning we like ordered food, ordered breakfast, which was really yummy. We got like breakfast food, pancakes. I haven't had pancakes in so long. These are also so good. And these are like the clips. I clip like all my open like bags with those to keep them fresh. Um, I believe I got these on Amazon. They're also magnetic at the end, but I don't really use that function. They're really good and they're so strong. Um, let me know if you want me to link them, but I love this popcorn. I also get the kettle one and it's just my guilty pleasure. I got a almond milk vanilla latte and this is really good from the coffee spot I went to earlier that I showed you guys. So good and I'm finishing it now because I'm the slowest drinker ever. If you guys know me like in person, like in, in real life, you know I, it takes me, everybody will finish like three drinks and I'm still on my first drink. I'm the slowest drinker ever. I don't know why. I'm still working on this coffee. So, but it's good. It doesn't mean it's bad. I just drink so slow. Oh, Prince -y -poo -poo. Getting Prince his favorite snacks. I always get him the bully sticks, his favorite. He loves, wait, the duck. I think it was the duck neck. Yeah, the duck neck. He loves this. And he also likes the duck liver. No, duck hearts. What was it? Chip no, duck neck. No, wait. Um, <laughs> duck hearts and chicken neck. Anyways, we got him all the goodies. So he's a happy boy. We took the last of all the chicken necks. Yes, good boy, Princey. Oh, look at that, Princey. It's all for you. <laughs> I'm sitting now. Oh, I know. <laughs> I love you so much. Lyle went inside the store with my mom to grab some groceries. So we're chilling in the car because I'm with Prince Fur and we can't take him into the grocery store. So I'm just like going through some photos I took today and picking out my favorites. By the way, when I take photos, I feel like a lot of people don't do this or know about this, I guess, because I'll talk to like friends and if I'm, if I'm like with a friend that hasn't like taken a photo of me before, for example, and then we're like doing something and we want to take photos of each other, I'll be like, okay, I want to burst 
of like my photos. I don't want individual photos. And they're like, what's a burst? And this has happened to me more times, like nine out of 10 times. I'm like, wait, what do you mean you don't know what a burst is? That's like the only way I've shot my photos for years on my phone. So I feel like a lot of people don't know what a burst is. Do you guys use bursts when you take photos? Do you know what it is? It's like, here, let me show you. When you go on your camera, instead of like, you see, instead of like taking like an individual photo every time, so it's like photo, 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 which I dislike because one, it takes up so much more space on your phone and you have to go over, go through each photo and delete the ones you don't like. And then iPhone does this weird thing where it edits your photos, like, and there's just no way I figured out in the settings like there's no way for me to turn off this thing that it does with the automatic editing and I hate it because it does a weird bright filter I can't stand it so I burst the only way to not get iPhone to do that is to burst if you guys are able to turn off that setting where it automatically edits your photo let me know but the how I burst is well this is how it works on the iPhone you just go really quickly to the left and it starts taking a bunch of photos so I do that because I'll do like a few bursts of just like different like it'll get all the movement, it'll get all the photos. And then instead of having like a bunch of photos, like singular photos on your, in your camera roll, taking up like each one takes up individual like amount of storage. The burst takes up less storage until, so you go through the burst and you pick your favorites and then you hit like done once you pick your favorites and the rest of the photos just go to your deleted folder. Anyways, that's how I shoot. So I figured I would, I'm curious if you guys shoot if you shoot photos if that's how you also do it because that's like the only way i shoot i rarely take like individual like almost never take individual photos because of that like editing thing and i like to like catch all the different like candid ones and the only way to do that is through a burst because when you're taking individual it's still like there's like a gap in between you know so yeah